As if getting pregnant weren't complicated enough, Lucy sets out to uncover the unsettling truth about her fertility doctor. First of all, this movie feels very similar to Roman Polanski's Rosemary's Baby. Even though it's sort of unfair to stack this movie against Rosemary's Baby, the movie is asking for it, and unfortunately, the comparisons are not going to do it any favors. While the inevitable comparisons don't help matters, its own faults are obvious even without the snappy parallels. It's basically some sort of millennial version of the classic horror effort. It doesn't work on its own merits, let alone as a take on the 1968 feature. And while this movie tries to modernize some of its ideas and add some thoughtful seasoning, it's also tremendously unexciting, rotely plotted, and most shockingly, boast a real letdown of a finale. Its influences are transparent, but it doesn't commit to a single angle in order to form an identity of its own. It spends so much time enacting this familiar tale, translating almost every element, including outdated cliches and tropes, for the 21st century in such a dull and straight-laced fashion. There is clearly a dark and biting story underneath what made it to the screen, but it's flashing back to a surprisingly thin plot. It's less of the product of crafty filmmaking than innumerable baffling choices. The film is aimless, is not funny enough, scary enough, or smart enough to say anything about the many topics it seems to want to tackle. The film threads classic horror tropes with a woozy, partially comic sensibility but doesn't fully commit to this approach. The film clocks in at barely 90 minutes, yet it's so poorly paced for there's little to no substance to make it function in any way. The screenplay got the basis of a story together, but forgot to add all the other required ingredients for a functioning narrative, such as character, width, and adding any depth to its surface-level commentary about women's fertility rights. As Lucy's world becomes increasingly unhinged, the film loses its way. The movie doesn't show its audience much of Lucy and Adrian before they first go to the clinic, so there's no baseline for viewers to reference as her paranoia spikes and her perspective begins to warp. The film also fails in depicting the love between Lucy and Adrian, a married couple who has tried for years to have a baby the old-fashioned way, but you hardly get to see them as a loving married couple. Outside of sexual attraction, there is no proof of their love as it's all told through exposition about how desperate they have become to have a baby. The script gets infinitely darker to a degree that no longer seems believable or even interesting, culminating with a yawner of a twist, a bold ending whose audacity must be applauded but doesn't work. It's a strangely out-of-tune gag in the climactic scene that throws things off balance. The performance of the cast is generally good, especially Ilana Glazer, Pierce Brosnan, and Gretchen Maul. The cinematography is also pretty good, it manages to capture the creepy 1970s horror-like aesthetic. It's a shame, however, that the work ultimately comes up short. Overall, this movie is a dull and lifeless horror film that fails to create an identity for itself or execute strong commentary on women's fertility rights.